Hi, welcome to Hands-On with Force Effect. In this series, we'll be looking at how to calculate the velocity of a projectile thrown from a mousetrap catapult. In this part, we'll be focusing on gathering information needed for the calculation. Like any problem in real life, there's often many solutions to a given problem. However, using simple definitions of work and kinetic energy, along with the principles of torque and levers, it's possible to calculate the speed of a projectile being thrown from a mousetrap catapult. To get started, we need some basic information. We need to determine how much torque a tension spring like the one on our mousetrap can apply across the distance. If you have your own mousetrap and equipment, you can do this by measuring the average force required to pull the mousetrap back and use that information in force effect. Or, if you don't have your own equipment, we'll tell you the force that we calculated for our mousetrap and it may be different depending on the type of mousetrap you have in hand. The way we measured how much force our mousetrap arm will be applying to our catapult is by tying a bottle to the mousetrap arm. Keep in mind that as we add water to the bottle, we want to keep the string and catapult arm at 90 degrees. From here, we will measure how much the bottle weighs at two different locations. First, we'll pull the arm back to where the ball would be released, and second, when the arm is pulled almost to the cocked position. Using the two weights we've measured, we can determine the average amount of force that the mousetrap arm will be applying to our catapult. To figure out the average, we simply add the two numbers together and divide them by two. The other measurements we need to take in real life are the mass of the projectile and the length of the mousetrap arm itself. We'll set these values aside for use later in the project. 